Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Steve again. Today's quick video, I'm going to teach you all how to adjust keyframes in iMovie. Keyframes are basically adding points to the audio sections of your clips where you can adjust the volume in certain spots. So if there's a point in your video you want it to mute and then another point where you want the audio to jump back up, you set keyframes and then you just raise it gradually. And it, it's easier to show you than to actually explain it. So let's get to iMovie and I'll show you right now. So let's get over there. We're in iMovie. So remember keyframes are adding points to adjust. Now to add a point, all you have to do is come to your clip, right? So let's say here is where you want to drop the audio for a second. You would hold down the option button, right? And then you'll see that little crosshair and all you do is click your mouse. Now you have a keyframe point, but you need more than two for this to work. So say this is where you want to drop it and say this is where you want to pick it back up. So you hold down the option button, you add another keyframe. Then in between these two markers, you'll add, want to add one more keyframe. So we could add it anywhere we want. Say we'll put it right here. Hold down option, hit the mouse button, and now we have three keyframes. Now, when you drag this keyframe down, you could see I could mute the volume at this point. So the volume will be going down, 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 down. It'll be at zero at this keyframe, and then it'll gradually keep going back up until you hit this keyframe. Now, if you wanted it to be muted from this keyframe to say this keyframe, then you'd probably want to add a fourth keyframe somewhere over here and then drag this keyframe all the way to the bottom. So now you have your first keyframe. This is where the audio is going to gradually decrease from this keyframe to this keyframe. There's going to be no volume at all. And then from the third keyframe to the fourth keyframe is where the volume is going to start going back up to normal. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just holding down option and clicking in the bar, the audio bar where you want a keyframe. Now it's easy to delete keyframes too. Instead of holding option and clicking the mouse, you just go to your keyframe and you would hit control and click and it'll tell you to delete it if you want to delete it. So you could do that. What else can you do? You could go between keyframes and drag up and down once you have it set. You could also move left to right. So if you figured out that these two keyframes weren't in the exact correct position, you don't have to um, redo your keyframes. When you hover over this audio line, you'll see four arrows. That means you could drag the bar up or down, left or right. So once you choose, then that's all you could do until you um, click the mouse again. So if I choose to go up and down here, Notice the right and left arrows went away, so I can't do anything right or left. But if I hover over and I go right or left, then I could shift the keyframe. So I'm like, oh man, I need to shift it a little bit to the left. Just hold down the mouse and drag it to the left. And you see your keyframe points two and three start to shift. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So let me go back and delete them. Like I said, you just hold down control and click a keyframe and then delete it. Same thing with this one, delete it, hold down control, click the keyframe, delete it. And one last time, hold down control, click the keyframe and delete it. And that is how you use keyframes in your iMovie video clips to adjust the audio. And this is simple, you could practice however you want. I just learned this a couple of days ago. I don't right now know a situation where I would use them. I would think maybe if you had like a recording of something in the background and somebody talking and you wanted to adjust the background noise down while you bring maybe the voiceover up, you would use a keyframe most likely. But it's really easy as you could see here. And um, that's about it. If you have any questions about how to use a keyframe, let me know in the comments below. As always, keep liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But most importantly, keep asking me your questions I really, really enjoy answering them, and I prefer to answer them in video form. So I hope you all have a great day.
Peace, guys.